Hi everyone, it's Derek from the iReady podcast and this is my reaction to the 2-1 victory against Hibs today. It wasn't pretty at times, but eventually we got the job done. Three points is all that matters, I suppose, but to be honest with you, we really, really need to wisen up because had the game stayed 11 men versus 11 men, then I don't know where that would have went because Hibs were certainly the ones that were up for it up until the sending off and we were reverting back to our usual steel self again. However, we got the job done, we showed a lot of tenacity in the second half and thankfully that's the three points heading into the international break now. It was Armed Forces Day as well, so around 200 troops were in attendance there and there was an abseil down from the Sandy Garden stand as well, so always fantastic to see. Six changes from the Sparta Prague game, again with the changes. I know a couple of them might have been enforced, Gogson back in as well, but this is again, as I said before, I think this is the main issue with the team and you've seen that with the Hibs goal, which I'll get into. But we lined up McGregor, Patterson, Gogson, Balligan, Barisic, Lundstrom, Kamara, Aribo, Hadji, Wright and Morelis. On the subs bench were McGlo Lachlan, Tavernier, Bassey, Davis, Bakuna, Roof and Sakala. So in the first half it was pretty much the same as every other game we've seen this season so far. Started off the first eight minutes fairly brightly with a decent bit of intent and then Hibs got their goal and we were the second best team after that. The goal from Hibs, they went, we went down the right on the eighth minute. Barisic was backing off and backing off. All he needs to do is stick a foot in and stop the cross coming in. That's a fullback's job at the end of the day to stop the crosses coming in. But granted, it was a great cross when it did come in. Three of our defenders right beside each other in the middle, not marking anyone, and it was a free header into the back of the net. Can't take away from the cross. Barisic should have done a lot more, though. Cross was great, but why was there three defenders in the same position marking absolutely nobody? Another defensive blunder, another marking blunder, and as I said, it all leads back to the fact that I don't think that these players seem comfortable with each other this season for some reason because there's been that many changes. I know some of them have been enforced through injuries, however, the key to have an understanding around your, your fellow teammates is about consistency with these teammates and that's not happening just now no player seems to know what position they should be getting in no player seems to know who they're meant to be picking up it's something that needs to be worked on and very fast because this game could have turned out so differently Hibs after that were probably the better team they had a lot of the ball we were reverting into our usual lethargic self Hibs granted they were doing not, nothing with it but neither were we when we had possession which was again disappointing arguably the turning point of the game 30th minute a straight red card for Ryan Porteous with another shocking reckless challenge high with the studs as well he got the ball with the trailing leg I think but he charged in with his high studs in. The guy is a liability. There is going to come a point when he is going to seriously put the career of some another player in jeopardy. How many times has he had a straight red card through reckless challenges like that? There is a, he's, there's a good player in there, but he's just so hot-headed and hot-tempered and he's a liability on the field. Great for us, obviously, but getting another sending off, but he is going to end somebody's career at one point and somebody needs to sit him down and make him understand he cannot go into challenges like that. Hibbs then taken off Scott Allen to change things, put, played more defensive as you would expect. They found the rhythm more or less, you know, straight away after that. And it wasn't until really the, the 40th minute when we started to really put them to the sword after that. I, I don't know what changed from there, but the last five minutes was absolutely relentless pressure from us with corner after corner, shot after shot, but nothing falling sweetly for us. Hibbs were getting players in the right positions at the right times and we still couldn't force the keeper into saves. It was one of the times you didn't want half time to come because you could have seen that just a wee bit more pressure and turn the screw a wee bit more, we probably could have got a goal from that. However, half time came, we needed to show a lot more in the second half. Again, the story of the season. However, into the second half, a much, much better performance. It would be hard not to, to be honest, and it's only what we expected. However, we still made heavy weather of it. We had all the possession. We struggled to break down that defence. We were going more direct and through the middle for a change, which was good to see. However, there were t many times when we played ourselves into trouble and it was when the space was clear in wide areas. All it needed is a pass to the wide area and a cross in might have got something differently, but it was good to see we were utilising the middle a lot more. I think Hibs only had one chance in the second half, uh, but I haven't even noticed 
noted it down, so I don't think it was uh, significant enough. We did make an early sub in the second half, which was good to see for a change. Uh, on the 55th minute, Kamara came off and Roof came on. And what a sub that was, because four minutes later, Roof scored and made it 1-1. It was a lovely floated ball from Patterson from the right side of the box. Roof completely in space on the left-hand side of the box. Heads it down into the right side of the net. Fantastic. Good to see. We kept on plugging away. There was some really good passage of play, but we lacked that final killer ball in the final third. We did start to make the keeper work a wee bit and the best chance up until that point was on the 73rd minute. It was an outstanding a quick one-touch move probing into the box ending and Hadji getting the ball on the right-hand side. He cuts into the middle he creates a gap for himself and has a great left-footed shot but it was an equally great save from the keeper to put it out for the corner. However, a few minutes later we made it 2-1 and it was Morelis on the 78th minute. Patient build up, Barisic gets the ball on the left, a great cross deep into the box for Morelis and he drops off his marker and he headers the ball into the back of the net. Fantastic. Made a couple of changes after that, Aribo off and Bakuna on, right off and Davis on and that's how the game ended up. So, as I said, delighted with the three points. We were better in the second half but the, the final third is needing sorted out big style. O obviously, the, the defensive blunders and the, the lack of marking is one issue, but the fact that we're not scoring as freely, we are not scoring enough this season, and it, it's a strange one because a couple of seasons ago, we were relying on Morelos all the time to score, whereas last season, there was goals galore from all over the pitch, and that seems to have stopped this season. We need to find that spark again in the final third. I don't think it's a case of teams have figured us out. It's just we maybe lack belief for some weird reason or we're going too pedestrian again. It's just a, a very strange one. However, after the game, that ends us up top of the league by a point over Hearts, four over Hibs and six over Celtic. So obviously great there, but it's another one of these times when, you know, things might have turned out different again. The, the red card might have played a big part in it today. We need to be more wise to that. However, delighted going into the international break, top of the league. Talking of the international break, we've got 12 players on senior international duty, so hopefully we can come back. No COVID-related issues, no injuries as well. It's something that I think... Given the amount of injuries we've had this year, the COVID issues as well, the team needs, we need a break this way. That's football, I suppose. We need to ride with it. We've got a big squad. It's just about finding that right ingredient and it's about finding the right combination just now and not making as many changes as we are. I know, so, as I said, I know some of them are enforced, but there, there needs to come a point when we start slowing this down and, and just going with the 11 that, that finished the last game. Next game after that though is Saturday the 16th of October, it's at home against Hearts, so another another big game again and you know both the, the, the both the Edinburgh teams are playing very well this season so far, uh, Hearts largely unexpected as well so uh, we'll need to wait and see how that comes after the international break. Dave and I hopefully will be back next week. Dave told me he's got the Lurgate, so I don't know if we'll be able to record this week because he's he can't speak just now, which uh, thank heavens for some things. But I hope Dave gets better soon. As ever, you can go to our website, which is iReadyPodcast.wordpress.com, and there you can find all the stuff that we do as well as from all the other podcast outlets. So enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Thanks for listening and goodbye.